In October of 2020, rock star Eddie Van Halen passed away after a long battle with throat cancer. His son, Wolfgang, whose mother is actress Valerie Bertinelli, survived him. Valerie and Eddie were married for over two decades, though eventually divorced and found other spouses. Still, they maintained a friendship up until Eddie's death, thanks in no small part to their shared son. Join Facts First as we see what Valerie Bertinelli just revealed about Eddie Van Halen's emotional last words. Recently, actress Valerie Bertinelli released a memoir called Enough Already, Learning to Love the Way I Am Today. Amongst other things, the memoir has revealed Valerie's personal account of former husband Eddie Van Halen's final days. The most emotionally moving part of this account comes with the simple final words that the rock star supposedly uttered to Valerie and their son. According to Valerie, the very last words Eddie Van Halen uttered to her and son Wolfgang were, I love you. Given that Valerie and Eddie had been divorced for over a decade and separated for nearly two, these words carried some unique weight. But it was always apparent Valerie and Eddie still loved each other after their 2001 separation and 2007 divorce. Valerie is now 61 and is a long way from being the person she was while performing on One Day at a Time. Though she and Eddie were married for many years and shared a son, their marriage wasn't the smoothest. Still, Valerie claims she never grew to hate her former husband, even during their darkest periods. One of the biggest things that drew the two apart was Eddie's substance abuse issues. Though Valerie claims that she sincerely grew to hate the substances Eddie was abusing, she never grew to hate the man himself. When Valerie Bertinelli and Eddie Van Halen first got together, the odd celebrity pairing shocked many in their separate demographics. Valerie was seen as a girl-next-door type thanks to her tenure on One Day at a Time. Meanwhile, Eddie was the epitome of the idyllic rock star. Still, the two ended up bonding, with each of them finding out they had more in common than they thought. Despite the fact that Valerie and Eddie divorced and went on to marry other people, they still remained close. They got even closer during the final days of Eddie's life, as it became apparent he was losing his battle with throat cancer. Valerie has even expressed the possibility that, had Eddie not died, they may have eventually gotten back together. But she has also shared that her feelings for Eddie towards the end were more friendly than sexual. They certainly bonded over their son, with Wolfgang maintaining a positive relationship with his father up until his death, and maintaining a positive relationship with his mother now. Wolfgang was well into adulthood at the time of his father's death and had actually played with him professionally. Wolfgang served as a touring musician with his father's band after his parents' divorce. It was Wolfgang who ended up announcing his father's death, and Valerie was quick to take to social media with a response. Memorably, her first tweet after the announcement was a simple sequence of broken heart emojis. According to Valerie, she had never been into Eddie Van Halen's music at the time she met him. She was invited to go to a Van Halen concert and agreed upon picking up a cassette and seeing Eddie on the cover. Valerie thought the musician was cute, and she used her celebrity status to ensure a personal meeting. The sparks apparently flew, with each of the stars bringing out a unique side of the other. Soon after their initial meeting, the two were making plans for marriage. They married in 1981. At the time of the ceremony, it seems both of the stars were equally into partying. The two shared lines of cocaine while writing their vows, and Valerie was said to have had to help hold Eddie's hair while he puked on the morning of their wedding date. Though Valerie and Eddie's marriage went on to last for over two decades and yielded a child, it was a rocky road. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. And stick around for more about Valerie and Eddie. When Valerie Bertinelli and Eddie Van Halen first met backstage at a Van Halen concert, the two were apparently very shy. Despite Eddie's image as a rock star, it seems Valerie brought something out in him that many others couldn't. The TV star brought the legendary guitarist to his knees, and it wasn't long before he was begging her to tie the knot. The two did in 1981. In addition to their rampant partying, one thing that nearly ruined their plans to get married was that a former groupie had accused Eddie of being the father of her child. A paternity test went on to prove this wasn't the case, and the date was set. The two went on to tie the knot as planned, despite likely not being sober during the occasion. Valerie has expressed, retrospectively, that she likely wasn't in the right state of mind to be deciding to marry anyone. Though she later left partying behind, the tendency to overindulge in mind-altering substances plagued Eddie for his whole life. Throughout much of the early days of their marriage, the two had very busy schedules that didn't allow them to spend much time together. This made it hard for them to find their footing in the new relationship, but it also made it hard for problems to develop. The time the two did spend together was largely spent partying, and they didn't have much occasion or reason to pick fights. However, a schism arose alongside the birth of Wolfgang. 
One Day at a Time had come to an end before Wolfgang was born. He was born in 1991, a decade after his parents tied the knot. Though Valerie had moved beyond her substance abuse at that point, Eddie hadn't. It was Valerie's goal upon her son's birth to be there for him, which meant working less and staying away from illicit substances. This caused a divide between her and her husband, who found the prospect of giving up his rock star lifestyle too tall of an order. Eddie Van Halen's biggest weaknesses were cocaine and alcohol. In the 90s, the two spent much more time in the same living quarters than during the 80s, and this exacerbated the inherent issues of their relationship. Eventually, things soured, and the two officially separated in 2001. According to Valerie, the reason that she and Eddie decided to separate was that they didn't want Wolfgang to grow up seeing his parents fighting. They felt growing up with parents who lived in separate households would be healthier for Wolfgang than growing up in one with parents constantly fighting. It appears they made the right decision, as not only has Wolfgang turned out fairly healthy and properly adjusted, but Valerie and Eddie also arguably had a stronger relationship after their separation and divorce. They began to respect and care for each other even more after the separation, but in a different way. They remained friends until Eddie's death a decade later. Not only did they remain friendly after their divorce, they also attended each other's subsequent weddings to other people. Eddie was the first to remarry after divorcing from Valerie, marrying Janie Lazuski in 2009. Wolfgang served as his father's best man, while Valerie watched from the audience. Two years later, Valerie married Tom Vitale in 2011. Eddie was invited, and his new wife was as well. Over these years, the main thing that kept them together as friends was Wolfgang, though the two would become a little closer as Eddie was succumbing to cancer. Valerie spent a lot of time visiting her former husband as he was being treated for cancer during the last year or so of his life. She was reportedly always on hand to groom the dying rock star and make sure his hair still looked good, and did her best to make sure he was comfortable. With care like that, it's no wonder the rock star's final words were, I love you. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Valerie Bertinelli and former husband Eddie Van Halen remained good friends until the latter's death? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Factsverse if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.